Hello everybody, I'm Sneaksy Gamer, and welcome back to Thief. We are in Chapter 2, Dust to Dust. And I'm making my way through the old ironworks, which they are now using to dispose of cadavers. I'm making my way through here to get a ring from some guy who died named Cornelius. Got a couple of candlesticks here. Got a rope arrow, a couple of blunt arrows, and a broadhead arrow in there. through here then. Severe gouging of the eyes and ears, self-inflicted. Contusions around throat. So now. Try to be clever, Watchman. It doesn't make for your job. Get back to your duty before I relieve you of them. Okay. I tell you, if that freaking bastard reaches my house, though, it don't stop again. Another with signs of heavy opiate use. No. that out before I go and do this other stuff. Okay, no, I no visible go that way. Not claimed by the glue. I mean I wish I could go that way, but I can't. Going that way so be tired much easier days. than this. This is going to be difficult. This part is always difficult. Ah, oh, rock's teeth. Walked from a second floor window, I would guess. Or jumped, of course. Because that guy will spot me, and the guys up tonight. above will spot me, and I have to... I want to get over to that side. You gotta be kidding me. Okay then. No, I can actually use this grate to go back and come in the other way. The only problem with that is... Then we've got another guard to deal with in a difficult position.
so I'm gonna head back over here. And I'm gonna go through this door. I thought I saw a glint over there. I guess not. Okay, I'm gonna head through this door. here. Blunt arrows are weak but can be used to trigger switches from a distance. It's cold out tonight. So I'm gonna wait for him to go down there. This guy should go down. I need to rest. He's the blood, blood, blood fresh. fresh. <laughs> it's brown, it's brown in, here. in here, like ditch like water. water. Don't you don't see it? Yeah, I don't know what's causing that echoing. Hope it's not the gloom. Okay, now that he's gone, I'm not going to use the. Blunt arrow, I'm just gonna hit the switch myself. Now. Shit, this grease gets on everything. Now I'm gonna climb up here. And this is where <coughs> we've got the collectible. Well. Yeah, the daisy brooch. A gift of childlike innocence or an insult of virginal petals plucked. Okay. Here we've got a gold knife stabbed into that thing. If we're caught black handed like this, <coughs> I need some air. I feel like shit. I should find someone who hasn't coughed up their backbone. <laughs> We've got some more loot up here. through here. There's a room back there. And it is locked. Luckily, I know how to get in. Locks don't stop me. Someone was in here recently, too, and they had lighter boots than the watch. Okay, so we've got, a th we've got three lines there, which I believe is a three.
No, this. This is just creepy. Okay, no, this is a three. That other one... I'll get that in a moment. This one is... a one. So, we've got a note here. Cryptic letter. Two clockwise. Time is running short, and I need to disappear. Hopefully this letter will reach you. I stored something incredible in the workshop say. If my theories are correct, I may finally have given our friend something to think about, literally. You must keep it safe. I cannot ta I cannot risk writing down the safe's combination, but if something happens to me, look to the older prototypes. Past failures can still have use, engineer. Oh. What was that noise? What happened? Oh, everything seems to be working okay. Okay, so we've got the first two numbers, and I ty typically just brute force this. I'll do three, one, oh, and four. Soul of the Automaton. Unique, unique loot. Soul of the Automaton. Masterwork of a mysterious and unnamed engineer. This unites all automaton parts in the service of something extraordinary. Back out here. Crap. That guy's back up here now. Oh, I can get past him now. Now, this is the difficult part. We've got some loot down there. I have to time it just right so that I'm not spotted when I jump down there and grab it, and then I have to climb back up <laughs> over there. for some reason. My back's hurting fast. So now I have to wait for this guy to look over here and then turn around and go that way again and then I'll jump down there if I can. If Garrett will climb over the railing this time. How many stupid bastards have I entered with this signal alone? There we go. As far as I know, there's nothing in the drawers, but I will check them. My crossbows don't stop again. There's nothing in them. Halt where you are! Now I just gotta climb back out of there because I quick saved while I was down there like an idiot. Okay, that wasn't too difficult. Yeah, so there's nothing in those drawers. I don't need to go into those I don't need to dig in those drawers. There's some Toss loot. from a second floor window, I would this guess. Table. Or here. Jump.
This is gonna be a bit of a pain. I don't feel right. I'm going to come from the other side though. Careful not to run into this guard. And of course there he is. Uh, smells terrible around here. Now, in the area where we went into that room and got the automaton soul, right here, there's another way we can go. I'm gonna go down this hall now. Hope it's not the gloom. And I'm not sure what the gloom is. I mean, I know it's a sickness of some kind, but it sounds to be something, some, some of the stuff that they say about it makes it sound like it could be a mental illness, but it's also a physical illness. I'm not sure. Not sure really, but because some of the stuff makes it sound like it's just kind of like depression or something, and I don't mean just depression, because I know depression is not a, not a simple thing, but some of the stuff makes it sound like it's kind of like depression and other stuff like that, but then other things, they talk about coughing and and um, biting off their tongue and stuff like that and just weird. So I'm not quite sure what it is. And I probably have plenty of time to drop down here. What? Can't be sure, but I might have seen something. Nerves are getting to me. Okay, there. Everything worked out. This way. Maybe he's not gonna come back this way. Where did he go? Why did he go out there? He's not supposed to go out here. Anyway. Ah. What? Did I see somebody moving? Are you kidding Stop me? Stop where you are! Oh. <laughs> Looks like I can't just climb right up there like that. Gloom, I suspect. Okay, we've got some loot here, a document. I believe I'm glad when this is all over. But the thing is, these two, their patrol routes are just a little off, so I have to wait till the perfect time where they're both lined up right for me to go in and get this stuff without being seen by either of them. Infected sores from injection abuse. Poppy milk, perhaps. It was ghastly. All dying beggars and caged dogs. Come on, read the, read the thing. 
read it. I'll be sure to remind the men that crossbow quarrels cost coin to produce. Okay, dead list. Dead list 412. Number 2188, gouged all eyes, one ear ripped off. Cause of death, gloom. 2189, contusions on neck, broken vertebra. Vertebrae. <laughs> Cause of death, hanging, gloom. 2190, broken skull, crossbow bolts, daubs. Cause of death, murder. 2191, wrist laceration, severe blood loss. Cause of death, gloom. Wait, did I just... Were there more and I just didn't see them all? No, that was all of them. Okay. Smells terrible around here. I'm pretty sure there's some loot on that table as well. There might not be. But I think there is. In Rope marks oh, around it. neck. There we go. Get down there. What's happened to this place? to get over there with all these guys seeing tonight. Because I'm gonna have to use that beam there. So maybe there we go. Because in here we've got a coin purse. I'm still nervous about where that other guard went. <sighs> so tired these days. I don't know where he went, and that's a problem. Because he's supposed to patrol this hallway. And while he's patrolling this hallway, I would know where he is. Right now, I have no idea where he is. Okay, and back there behind those is where we would have gotten the last number for the combination to the safe. But as I said, I typically just use... I just kind of brute force it and just try each number until one of them clicks and opens it. Now we've got glass everywhere here, so I have to be careful. And we have a lock here, so I have to make the point I was leaning way in again, damn it. I'm terrible about that. It's because that's what I normally do when I'm playing on my own. I kind of lean in a bit. Give me a locked door, I'll show you an open one. I haven't seen this mechanism before, though. Must be a key to fit. And that's what we got off of that one guy's belt. There's also one here. Now... Carefully not to step on the glass. couple of drawers here. I think one of them has some loot. This guy's sleeping. Okay, we've got a note here. And off limits. Unauthorized entry beyond this point will be punished, no exceptions. If in doubt, consult with an officer of the administration by direct order of the Thief Taker General. <sighs> it's 
so this door is now open. I'm gonna have to hook back onto the assembly line again. First, I'm going to collect the loot because once again, a point of no return. I think that's kind of funny. You can steal, well, <laughs> 71 loot items in this mission, but yeah, he can only carry a couple arrows. doesn't really make a lot of sense. So here we've got a couple of forks, a couple of spoons, and only one knife. The other knife from the set is the one I'm assuming that was stuck in that mannequin out there. Now, To grab onto this again. Now, gotta wait till we get to the right spot and drop off again. And then I'll probably be ending the episode there. Or, no, I'll go a little further because then we get a short cutscene, and that's where I'll end it, is after that cutscene. For a dead man, Cornelius is proving hard to catch. But I'll have to if I'm to palm Whoa, that ring. Oh, hey, one at a time. <laughs> no pushing. <laughs> Flames ain't going anywhere without you. Right through here, we've got a cutscene. No matter if you're rich or ragged, beggared or buttered up, you're all gonna burn. Got a ring there. And then here's the cutscene. There's Cornelius. I don't care if your mother's got the fucking clone, she's not coming to live with us. <laughs> and there's the thief taker, General. With a cane and a bad leg because of us. <laughs> thief taker, General, sir. This guy's got the weirdest fucking haircut. There you are. Hey, excuse me, sir. What did this body have on it? Uh, nothing. Nothing. No, I was just going to get another body when you came in and took over. <laughs> you know, I don't ask for much. Respect. <clears throat> Stiff drink. Gold. And for my men to do what they're fucking told. Yeah. Put his body in the furnace and check it for coin. No point in wasting a bolt. So yeah, the thief robbing the dead General's of their valuables and their dignity. A thief taker general exceeds his own reputation. Time to steal that ring back. So, that's where I'm going to end this one. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.